Hey guys, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, we will see how to play YouTube videos into our Flutter application. So let's see how it works and then we will see how to implement them. So here is our application running in the emulator device and by providing YouTube video URL, it will appear in this playlist and we will be able to play that or anything. Okay, now I will add this video. So if I press this button, it will add the video in here. It will say add it and the video will appear in here. And it will also be added into our database. So in this video, we will see how to implement them step by step from the beginning and scratch. And I will also leave the source code for this project in the description. You can get that at any time. If you face any problem, you can also comment your problems in the comment section of the video. I will respond as soon as possible. And without talking too much, let's get started with the video and see how we can implement this one. All right. So if you want to store your video URL into the Firebase, then you have to configure Firebase by yourself. I already did that and I have the Firebase configured with this project which is this one and if you don't want to use firebase as a backend then it's your choice uh, you can provide the links locally into your code and after the, doing the configuration with firebase you have to come to the build.gradle nothing we have changed in here everything is fine in build.gradle of project level again everything is same just configuring the firebase and now it comes to the pubspec yaml the packages that we are going to use are these ones uh, we will use this youtube player flutter package for playing the youtube video and this uh, cloud firestore firebase core for uh, that one storing our url into the firebase and this flash board is just showing the message that your url has been added to the database so no other changes into our codes now we are ready to start and implement before that i want to show you the android manifest as well uh, there is uh, no change in here as well only the internet permission it will be required because you are going to play the video from the internet and now we are ready to go so let's go to the main activity first uh, here i have provided these two lines only because i'm using firebase if you're not using it's not required and then from here main.dart i have passed the control into the home.dart where i will be designing my home screen so first i have to declare the variables which i will require as you have seen in the demo we have a text uh, field where for that i have to declare a text editing field controller then i will have youtube controller after that i will have a document reference for uh, inserting or adding my link then I will have a list of string. Uh, after retrieving the links from the Firebase, I will store that inside this list, which will be a video ID. And then we will have a Boolean variable for showing items. It will take, if, if we have more than one URL, then it will take time to, uh, to actually load the items from the Firebase and from the database into our application so i will make this show items false until the all the uh, links are loaded into our application then i will set it to true to show the videos into the user's screen so inside this one i will create a scaffold which is having an app bar and i will give it a color background color for this so now uh, it comes to the body of our scaffold i will create a body and give it a column So inside the text field, I will add an icon of add. By pressing that one, we will be adding our URL into the database. So on top of this, I will handle at the end. But before that, let's design the place for our videos, uh, for our YouTube videos. Now we have item count, which will be the video ID that we have dot length for my case. 
because I will be having all the videos inside this video ID list and I will take the length of that one but for your case you have to insert your video length so now again uh, for every item we have to create this uh, container and I will design this container right now by giving some margin so here it comes that we are using this YouTube player package and inside this we have uh, many things that we can do we have controller we have this aspect ratios uh, assigning the video size then these other things like designing and styling thumbnail these are the things which you have to play by yourself and in this video I will show the simplest way to play a YouTube video into your Flutter application. So we will start by controller and provide the YouTube controller video controller. Inside this uh, YouTube player controller we have initial video ID which is going to be the video ID from our from our list that we already retrieved from the Firebase. Then we have flag here where we can implement these ones which uh, I will set the autoplay to false we have got some more flags in here like HD making it HD hiding controls hiding thumbnail live looping muting and other stuff which again you have to play it by yourself so after this one we have to implement some more uh, attributes of this uh, YouTube player which will be show video progress which of course we want to see our progress of the video and then we have progress indicator color indicator color which will uh, give us uh, which we will provide the color dot colors dot blue and then we have got the progress color actual progress color we can define the blade color so um, I'm done with the styling of our player. Uh, if you want to style it even more, you can play with these uh, these ones. So now it comes to the adding the URL into our Firebase. So here I have to check whether the URL which the user enters is a valid YouTube URL or not. For that I have a regular expression which checks for YouTube URL and I will create here so using this one I will check a link whether it is a valid YouTube link or not if it is matching this pattern then I will add this then down below I will create the function so inside this function I will simply just uh, make an await and using the link reference to my firebase so I will add the text of text controller uh, into my link reference it will look like this I will create a link URL and uh, adding the field like this which will be the key and value both of them will be the URL for us to, easy, to easily retrie retrieve that also before that I have to make an init state so in this reference I will add my YouTube URL so here I have used the set which will be set every time we call this item function and it will remove all the items from this firebase and only set the lattice one that we have called the set but if we uh, turn this merge on using the set option if you come to the set you will have you will see this optional set option if we turn on this merge it will merge uh, it will keep the old data as well as it will append the new data after that so that's why I just uh, used that merge on there after this one we uh, have to show flash bar then we will also add this uh, URL into our video and then we will print edit so when it comes to getting our data for the first time when the user opens the application it should be retrie it should retrieve all the data from the firebase and load the videos to the user for that we will write another function which will be get data so here what I did in get data is all about just getting the links from this link reference by using the git 
dot then then after completing the this process of getting all the video IDs from the Firebase I forget to use this show item up here inside this one before this list view I will say if show item is true do this one otherwise I will show a circular okay now everything is looking fine and uh, uh, here we haven't used this YouTube controller because we have uh, just uh, appended that in here without uh, having a separate or upper level YouTube controller we just did that inside our list view builder so we can remove that now if we save our application and run into our device you can see we already have a video into our link and it should retrieve that video and play that for us it is just loading because we have never called this uh, get data into our init state and we have to call this so that we retrieve these data from our firebase now if we save the application and restart so again the loading has gone because we have the url inside our video id but uh, one more thing I have forgotten that this initial ID takes only a string which will be the video ID and we have provided the full link of the YouTube so we have to only get this uh, last 11 digit of the video ID dot convert we have uh, a function which, which will convert the full URL into the ID now if we save our application and restart the app so the problem was that uh, here i was using url instead of urls while in my firebase storage it was uh, the name of the document was urls okay now the app is running and the video is also loaded from here and if we want to test our adding the video functionality in here I will copy the link from here so if I press this uh, tick button uh, of course nothing will happen because we have not uh, specified the on complete method of this one so if this uh, YouTube URL is having uh, the match with this regular expression pattern it will be added otherwise uh, we have to show some flash bar I will also give this else part on tapping this button in here now if we go ahead and add the YouTube video URL into our application and if I press this tick button it should add the video and load everything for us you can see our video is added in here also in here it has appeared uh, also we have to define these two after adding the item uh, into our database which will be after this function I will make both of them so that it clears this text field and also uh, removes the keyboard from the screen now if we restart the application and try to add another video from here if I add this URL it will be added it will say that it is added and it will appear in here in our list view and if we try to add some invalid URL which will be google.com it should give us an error invalid link and it should clear the text field as well so this is how we can implement a YouTube player into our Flutter application and I will leave the source code for this project in description of this video you can get that from there and if you like the video and enjoyed, it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching I will see you in the next video